I'm his Mad TV, I'm Jamie Rickers. I'm Anna Williamson and we're from Nickelodeon's Camp Orange. Hi guys, can you tell us um, in one sentence what Camp Orange is all about? No. <laughs> well, I will then. Uh, he's just being naughty today. Um, Camp Orange is Nickelodeon's extreme game show extravaganza. Basically, it's the most, it's everything you'd want to do. All the games, challenges, prizes, basically everything I'd want to do when I was a young person. What will you be doing differently that will make Camp Orange 2012 the best one yet? Well... We've got Denise Lewis, who is the Games Master, so her role has changed. So rather than just be the ambassador for Fair Play, she's actually in charge and responsible for making sure there's no cheating that's going on um, and making sure that everything's working properly. As far as we're concerned, or what we do now is obviously we're there to help out and encourage and support and introduce and let you know what's happening throughout the series. And the challenges this year, the big difference about this show is that the challenges are far, far, far harder. They're harder, they're bigger... Like I, colder, wetter, colder, more wetter. Yeah, I mean, I consider myself quite fit, and I think I would struggle in a lot of them. Um, and it's quite interesting to see how well or not so well they do. Yeah, some people you think that are going to do well don't really rise to some of the challenges, do they? Yeah. And the ones and that you think are going to be kind of uh, inferior actually come through, and you think, wow, where did that come from? It's quite exciting. So Camp Orange is all about achieving things. What's been your biggest achievement? Oh, wow, what's, what a, um, well, I, I probably would say, um, and this is something quite recently that's happened to me, but it's a big achievement for me. Um, I, I've obviously loved my job, and, and that's fantastic, but I've recently um, qualified as a childline counsellor, and that's been a really big achievement for me recently, because there's a lot of training that's involved in that, and um, yeah, I, I'm proud of, uh, of the achievement of, of making it onto the phones, so um, and spreading the word of childline. Oh, that's a really good question. Um, I'd probably have to go back a few years for mine. I, I did a, a music degree, and one of the things I always wanted to do was to have my own orchestra. So uh, a friend of, of mine and myself, we we set one up, and the idea was to introduce young people into into orchestral music, but no classical stuff, just kind of Star Wars, Superman, E.T., all the film scores. And within six months of talking about it, it went massive, and we had kind of... RPO, LSO, um, people like that coming down to audition to be in an orchestra. And we did it, we set it up, and, and Matt and I are the conductors of, of the Universal Film Orchestra. So That's very, a big achievement. Yeah, it's a massive, massive film orchestra. I would say as well, I mean, a close second for my biggest achievement is I can now make a Yorkshire pudding ride! <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's good. Yeah, keep the door closed. Stop checking it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going on. Is wrong. it working? Oh, I've gone flagging. Camp Orange is also a celebration of friendship. What do you think um, makes a good friend? Trust, support, loyalty, uh, loyalty, sense of humour. Yeah. Um, I think there's that unsort of spoken understanding for each other, and you know what? You're always going to go yeah. through rough times as well as good times, and I think it's just working out when some things aren't just worth you know, aren't worth getting worried about or upset about. Yeah. Just Especially on. when you spend time with someone like we do. It's knowing when that person is upset or needs support or needs a bit of time or shoulders mm -hmm. across. And sometimes it's knowing that um, before they've actually said anything or knowing it before they do, you kind of get an atmosphere or a sense that, that that person needs needs you mm -hmm. and you're just, you're just in. And I think essentially listening. Yeah.